A woman from Saudi Arabia was arrested after Snapchat videos surfaced of her walking around an ancient ruin in a mini skirt and her hair exposed. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martini Bierman. Let's start off with a mini skirt, really? Take a walk along Hollywood Boulevard. Those are mini skirts. This? Not a miniskirt. Saudi Arabia famously has a very strict and super conservative dress code. Women are required by law to cover their hair and most of their skin. Women are also still barred from driving and cannot get a passport without a male's permission. When the video surfaced, the Saudi public called for the woman's arrest. Police tracked down the woman and arrested her for her immodest clothes. So why would you film yourself wearing illegal clothes in the first place? I don't know what the big deal is because historically people have loved filming themselves doing naughty things with their cell phones. According to Al Jazeera, social media is wildly popular in Saudi Arabia as a space to vent frustrations and gauge public opinion. Al Jazeera also points out that over half the population of Saudi Arabia is under 25. That is a lot of millennials per capita. The outcry against the video and the woman's subsequent arrest reveal how powerful and widespread conservative views are in the kingdom despite recent moves by Saudi Arabia to modernize and loosen some rules. Some change has actually begun in Saudi Arabia, but it is a country that is deeply divided. Ali Ozkok tweets, hypocritical, left, young girl in mini rock detained in Saudi Arabia, right, royal Saudi family parting in Bodrum, Turkey. Amira says, Saudi officials investigating random woman wearing a mini skirt in the streets while Saudi leader's wife dresses in a similar fashion? Kevin Dahmer writes, a woman in Saudi Arabia was arrested for wearing a skirt. Saudi Arabia, head of human rights in the UN, that Saudi Arabia. Will this moment and movement be pivotal for Saudi Arabia? Remains to be seen. As for the young woman in the videos, she was released without any charges after telling police that the videos were released without her permission. This is super messed up because who in her circle decided, hey, I'm just gonna totally take this video that is illegal and I'm gonna post it so that I can completely expose you. I feel really bad for the girl because clearly somebody in her circle is not somebody to be trusted. What do you think of the story? Do you think that this is a step in a completely different direction for Saudi Arabia? Let us know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.